welcome back uh, in this week's video we are gonna take a different path uh, we are gonna set up our confluent cloud free trial uh, that's basically allows you to have a kafka cluster uh, and you can connect it uh, on confluent cloud itself uh, so why this approach uh, the reason is that it's free uh, for 30 days uh, and you can easily connect it with our google cloud uh, platform account uh, so most of the things uh, you will do in here would be free. You will not need a credit card or a debit card. And it's an easy way to set this uh, up in your Kafka cluster. Uh, if you're not comfortable doing this, uh, we will still provide uh, a Docker file which you can run and set up uh, your Kafka cluster accordingly. So let's take a look into it. So uh, you will see that uh, for new sign-in, you will get a $400 and a 30 days free trial. Uh, I already created an account, so I will just log in. So I'm also doing it for the first time with you guys. So let's see if it works. Uh, once you have logged in to your Confluent Cloud, uh, you will see this kind of an interface. So what we need to do is basically create a cluster for us. Uh, and as we really want to just test out, so we will create a basic cluster. <clears throat> let's use uh, Google Cloud uh, Frankfurt because we are in the I am in the Berlin area, so Frankfurt will be closest for me. Single zone is fine. Uh, I continue. Uh, there would be uh, enter payment card info, but as we have already $400 uh, in our credit, we are just going to skip this step. Uh, and then we are going to name our cluster. So let's say Kafka tutorial real cluster. Uh, we don't need to do anything here. We just launch this cluster. Might take a second. Uh, and we can see that we already have a cluster. So we can basically go into our dashboard and we can see that there is some uh, matrix, which are basically no data right now because we are not doing anything with it. Uh, we can also check some of the networkings, uh, what kind of ingress we have, uh, and we need an API key. So every single time we do anything with, uh, with Confluent Cloud, we will need an API key. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna create one. Uh, and I can now name this one as Kafka Cluster uh, Tutorial API Key. Right. It's it's downloaded. Perfect. So let's take a look into our class, cluster settings, um, and we can already know the bootstrap server, the rest point, uh, and other stuff around this. The next thing which we will do is basically create a topic. So we say, okay, uh, let's say a tutorial topic, uh, and we just use partitions as two right now. Uh, we also do some, some some advanced setting. We want the cleanup to be done. Uh, the cleanup has to be done and it's delete. Let's just take one day of retention because I don't want to pay a lot and spend the 400 free uh, dollars provided by them. Uh, and then we now have some messages coming in. So what we can do also is we can actually produce some message. So produce a new message. Uh, this seems like an okay message to me. So let's just do that. Uh, and we can see your message is being processed. And now we already have a message in our, uh, in our Kafka topic. And we can see that these are the values and these are the keys. Uh, and uh, we now basically have produced one message into our uh, times uh, into uh, into Kafka, and we can also see that there are some timestamps offset uh, attached to the message field itself, uh, and these are also uh, produced to the Kafka topic itself. Although we cannot see that here, just because they are, uh, we only see a value right now. All right, so there is no schema attached to it. This is the configuration. Uh, if you want to check it out later. Uh, and now let's do something. Let's create a dummy connector. Uh, in this case, we are going to use data gen source uh, and we are just going to create some dummy data coming into this. So to put the topic tutorial, uh, we have global access. Continue. We are just going to use JSON and some click stream uh, data. Or let's just do some orders data better. Uh, and then we have, yes, connector size is fine. We review and launch. 
others others connector tutorial we have our tutorials perfect so continue let's see it's created the connector is being provisioned so this might take up to two three minutes so let's come back and check it out after that. so now we can see uh, that the auto connector is running we can check it out we can so throughput messages are not there but if we explore matrix we can already see that there is data being produced so send bytes so we can see that some data is being outputted right now let's see what else can we see let's see let's send records we can already see that there are some messages being sent in the last one hour or so we can also change this to six hours but one hour is fine for us tomorrow so let's take a look into our topic itself uh, and we can already see that there are uh, 498 bytes per second there are some consumption being going on uh, and we can already go inside the message itself and see that what is being produced so we can now see that these messages are being uh, added to our Kafka using the Confluent uh, Cloud uh, connector. Uh, and we can already see what kind of data is coming in to our Kafka topic. So what I'm gonna do now is basically I'm gonna shut this down just because I don't want us to lose our $400. Uh, dollars. Uh, and in the next videos, what we are gonna do is gonna produce some messages using code uh, and we are also going to consume some messages uh, using code. See you next time.